What's up, Yup Gang? It's your boy Taxon, and welcome back to Yup DBSD Things. And today we're going over another very exciting battle, guys. This is going to be round one of our local this week. This is going to be Structure Deck Vegeta versus Green Cooler. But before we get into it, guys, I do want to say if you guys are wanting custom mats and or leads, absolutely check out Pro Mats, guys. This is the best place to go get your custom card needs. And if you guys do decide to get a mat from them, make sure you guys use the promo code Yup to save on your entire order. With that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this battle or my content in general, remember to hit all those buttons for me, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video, and with that being said, let's spin it around and dive in. Alrighty, you guys, and here we are with round one of our local. We have Cooler on the left side versus Vegeta on the right side. Cooler will be starting this game off for us by charging himself an energy and then paying that energy to go ahead and play himself his Demegra Unison, using the uptick on his Unison and then passing turn over to Vegeta here. Vegeta starting with a oh, charge of an extra card and then playing a one drop Vegeta swinging with the leader and then leaving it there at 10k turn is being passed over to Cooler Cooler swinging after charging his energy using his leader auto to take a life and draw one card using the uptick on his units in here to swing for 15 uh, Vegeta did combo out the one drop from field to survive the 10k leader swing here, Cooler uh, taking the advantage of early game hand destruction and playing himself a 20k attacker. That's going to make Vegeta discard one card from hand while at the same time putting a unison in play with five markers. Very good, especially if he plans on going into Golden Cooler next turn. Vegeta starting off his next turn by charging energy and swinging with his leader, auto on his leader to draw a card here. Here we're going to see one energy activate battle on Goku. It is an activate battle, not an activate main, so that's something to note when you're playing this deck. Use the leader's awakening ability since we have a two cost or more Goku in play. We can go to five life, untap one, draw one. Here it looks like we're going to use the leader effect to go ahead and rest the Goku. Goku's effect will untap him during Cooler's next main phase, but at the same time, if it's his turn when he's rested off of the leader skill, he draws a card. So a nice little way for Vegeta to utilize a draw two skill in the deck, or for the leader to be like a draw two source, in a sense. As long as the Goku sticks around, we're going to see one energy investment for Vegeta. He has a 15k servant, so he's a 25k base. Uh, the rest of his skill really doesn't happen unless he's at three or more energy. He would have double strike because of the Goku in play, but he does not have does not have enough energy for that skill. But it doesn't matter. It is negated with Naze. Naze will come out right here and uh, stop that card from attacking next turn. He's actually choosing the Goku. So the card can still untap, it just can't attack next turn. So Cooler, Cooler's already looking at a Golden Freeze in his hand. It looks like he definitely can start off by doing something like that. During the main phase, Goku is supposed to untap. I'm sure this will come up in a second. Yep. And Cooler going one energy into the dash pack cooler. This guy Z charges a random green card from the drop area and then his plus is to burst one. And then it gets 10k. That uh, auto when it's in the Zenkai charges from the drop area also. Uh, it also gets a dual tag as well. So it is a 15k dual tag unison for one, which also triggers your leader to draw a card, which is pretty nice. Cooler also in awakening range here. He is under mecha now, so we'll see what he decides to do here. Looks like the discard from Frieza turn two helped uh, Vegeta turn on his Mecha Frieza's here. So swinging with his leader, we see Nona Gates here, using the Awakening ability after the auto on uh, after the auto from the front side. So let's take a life draw card, Awaken, untap one, draw one. We still haven't seen the untap. That is a, a small misplay, a little a little bit of value that Cooler missed out on there. He did utilize a Champa uh, extra card there in order to get rid of the 
four cost servant Vegeta, which is pretty good. We're gonna see the great Saiyan super combo during this instance in order to make this a pretty big attack. So it does look like the Goku dies, and then we will see the pass turn there from Cooler. Going into turn three here for Vegeta. Charge and energy, start off by swinging with Mecha Frieza. Essentially trying to bait out the dormant potential, I'd imagine. Yep, so here comes dormant with the discard. Attack does still go through, so we'll see if there's any combos here. Probably not. Maybe so if we're uh, trying to get trunks out. It looks like it's just 15. We're going leader into the uh, leader here. We do see a shocking death ball there. It does negate the attack. That was the last attack for the turn. So we'll probably just see Vegeta utilize some energy in order to set up for his next turn. It looks like we're going to see the one energy effect for the Goku. The Goku does get counterplayed by Frieza, which is pretty upsetting. It looks like from there we do pass turn 2 up, going into Cooler, Cooler's turn 4. We do have to worry about things like Golden, cool, uh, Golden Freezer for sure now, because that is definitely going to be a problem. We're going to see Cooler start off by swinging with the leader first. That's going to get the Mecha Frieza treatment. Luckily enough for Green Cooler, Mecha Frieza isn't too harsh of a floodgate on the deck considering most of the deck's main attackers are unisons and that's the only card that is not restricted through Mecha Frieza. So we shall see what he decides to do here. We do see the uptick on the unison to burst one, swinging for 15k. No need to rest anything. It looks like he does combo off the Frieza to go to 20 and then we'll see the activate battle on Vegeta to go to... Uh, go down to 3 by taking a life with his activate battle, gain 5k for the turn, and then we'll see a 5k there. So getting to 25 to get out of that uh, 20 single, while at the same time uh, putting a bean effect on the leader. So it looks like we do see Golden Frieza coming out here, blowing up the field. He does trigger the draw on the cooler leader here. Using the minus four and then going directly into the attack, it looks like Vegeta does have himself a Frieza army reinforcements to stop that dual attack. Very powerful card and uh, stopping a very powerful card at that. So we'll see him use that secondary attack. More than likely here, you're going to see the block from that uh, token. We shall see. Yep, so there goes the block. Looks like player was slightly distracted with an, uh, another person conversating. Moving into turn four for Vegeta here. Charging himself his fourth energy. And then probably here we'll see a game ending push probably from Vegeta considering he's at such a low life. He does have his Z leader live here so he can go into some uh, pretty obnoxious uh, skills if you, if I do ask me. A lot of his attackers are one drops and most of these attackers that, that do cost one are like double strikes so we have like trunks per se. Uh, with the right requirements he's a 20k double strike for one. Uh, you have the Majin Vegeta he's a 25k double strike for one uh, and then you, of course you have the Goku and Vegeta card that was for the Spirit Bomb Vegeta deck that's also a one drop double strike 20k as well. So most of the attackers in this deck are one drop 20ks and double strikers at that. So we do see the leader swing in here. It does get negated with homicidal clones. It looks like we're going to see the activation of cooler counter counter here. So the attack does go through. We do see the Z awaken. We are moving a little fast because even though we did counter counter, our, our opponent, Cooler, here does still have the option to use his blocker auto, so we do have to wait for him to do that, so we're going to go back like a half a step there and make sure that he can do that. 
Yep, so here we, we can see that we're asking if he's wanting to block this attack or not because this may change what we decide to do in terms of uh, the Awakening. So it looks like we do see the block. Looks like we still do go into the Z leader here. Reading the scale really quickly just to make sure that we can utilize it correctly. We are to, through to a blocker. There was a little um, little miss by there. Missed the Z stack. Looks like we do no combo, so the one marker gets removed from Frieza, and then we swing for 15k with Cooler next here. And then there is a dormant potential unleashed. We'll see if Vegeta decides to combo on this attack to make this a big beefy one or not. So it looks like... Looks like Cooler actually managed to have quite a bit of defense here on Vegeta's game-ending turn here. Now he's going to have to re-strategize because his initial plan looks like is being soiled. So we do put the 5k on that to get out of the 15k Cooler attack. Uh, so Cooler staying at 2 life here. And then it looks like Vegeta has to pass turn here and doesn't, doesn't actually complete the job, doesn't actually in the game during that attack so it looks like he's going to have to rely on being as defensive as possible well, we'll see what he decides to do here it looks like swinging with swinging with his 20k unison I don't know if he's swinging with his leader yet I'm sorry I'm, I must have missed that I don't know if he missed untapping it or not, but that's a thing. It looks like he's going to pay one for a new unison. This is going to force a discard and, of course, trigger his leader to draw a card. Upticking on that bad boy to make him a 20k. It looks like we're going to combo 1k or 1 5k from hand. We're going to see the one energy investment for Cooler. We do have a Z leader and two Z energy, so we do see the Vegito counterplay coming out. This is essentially a Mecha Frieza skill on a counterplay timing. So if he decides to attack with anything that's not a leader card, he has to rest something uh, to do so. And then also, since we are a Z leader, our leader does uh, acquire the permanent that says negate all strike skills from your opponent. So anything that's double strike, triple strike, or quad strike is not there no more. And then also, uh, he pops himself at the end of the turn. So from there, it looks like he's going directly into Golden Golden Frieza, feeling way safer now that he doesn't have, uh, now that he doesn't have uh, any energy to face down. He does have to rest something in order to swing with that. So and it does get negated with Frieza Army reinforcements. That is very upsetting. We'll see if he has an Overrealm here. If he has Dark Broly Overrealm or even Secret Identity, that will definitely be the way to go ahead and win this matchup. We'll see if he has it. Or if he has to, looks like he has to leave that up and active for a blocker. We'll see if Majin Vegeta can come back and make this a win. Muslim Vegeta does seem like he's on the back foot here because he was forced to use his last life. So now we know that his activate battle on the on his uh, Z leader is not going to be a thing anymore. So we're going to see the one energy investment for the Goku Vegeta, and then that KOs uh for or KOs anything negates his skills first as long as it's in rest mode, and then we're going to see the one energy investment for the servant Vegeta. He comes out swings for 25k double strike. because we do have a Goku in play. Looks like we do see Cooler combo out there. It looks like we're going to see the one energy effect to play the Z card Goku out from underneath the leader. We're going to use him to go ahead and swing into uh, swing into Golden Frieza. His auto is going to prog, make him 25k, and then switch uh, Majin Vegeta to active, which is pretty nice. He's, he does retain his double strike from that first auto as well. So, 
he is double strike so that goes through he he forces the blocker out there so now we can go in with the 20k double strike on the goku vegeta card and see if that's enough it looks like we do see the negate there going to one very very clutch negate there it looks like uh goku vegeta Ooh, we're gonna see the two energy investment or two, one energy investment and two z energy for oolong to copy Majin vegeta's power swinging again for 20k or 25k Comboing off one, two, comboing off most of the hand here. So 25, 35, 45, 50. We're going to see if Cooler can get there. He's at 25, 35, 45, 50, 55. He made it exactly that, but the one energy that we saved up in the one card in hand was Trunks, and it looks like Vegeta ends up taking this game. With that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit all those buttons for me. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.